So today I have one sculpting tip that no one has ever told you before, probably. So before we dive into that tip, please subscribe. So this universal sculpting tip might actually be more of just an art tip in general. So whether you're sculpting in Blender or ZBrush, 3D coat, even if you're using just traditional mediums, so you actually have monster clay or something out in front of you, this tip is for you. So there are times when I really get bogged down. Like I pull up my reference image, okay? And I'm working and I'm working and it's just not getting there. For whatever reason, my brain's not clicking. I'm not getting into that flow state. And when that happens, for me personally, if I just try to push, push, push and force it, whatever it is that I'm trying to make, it never ends up well. Like it's, it's always garbage that I create. What I like to do is take a little break, get rid of everything, open up a sphere and just start sculpting, just having fun. This does two things for me. It reminds me why I love sculpting, right? I'm, I'm not looking at reference images. I'm not worrying if proportions are correct. It's just me basically doodling on a piece of paper, right? If I were a tra traditional artist, just doing a little sketches in the margins. They don't have to be great. They don't have to be of anything. Just create something. Start with a snake hook, start stretching and pulling something out and just run with it. Wherever your mind takes you, just go with it. So the second thing that I feel that this does for you is it helps me get into that flow state. So if the ideas are just going, coming out, coming out, it's just kind of free form, whatever happens, happens. Then after a few times of that, if I hop back into this project, maybe I'm working with a client or it's a professional project, right? That I have to get done and it has to be right. It has to match the reference and all of this. That little break helps me in the long run to push through and it looks so much better. So on the time lapse that you see on your screen, I did exactly that. I just started with a sphere and I'm just sculpting away. So I, I literally started by carving into this thing and decided I'm gonna make a mouth. From there I add teeth and gums, pull out that lip to give him a weird expression, transition just to making an eyeball. And at this point, it was definitely looking like a crazy, scary Mike Wazowski. So I just ran with it. You know, once I got the head kind of nailed down, and it's not perfect, I don't have any reference material that I'm using or anything like that. I am just having fun using snake hook, pulling the arms down, the legs, just getting the idea of a character in here. But like I said, I don't have any reference for, for any of this. This was just a good time seeing what I could make. And you know what? I had a blast doing this. Uh, my arm anatomy really sucks from memory, but that's okay. That doesn't matter. The whole point of this was to just relax. It reminds me of all the wonderful things, why I like sculpting, how I don't feel constrained. When I'm hard surface modeling, let's say in Maya, I feel locked in a box. I don't feel like I can just take the paint and splatter it on the canvas. Hard surface modeling to me is more like paint by numbers, right? Follow the rules, follow the instructions, get the result. I can't break free, in my opinion, when I'm hard surface modeling. I dislike it a lot, so I'm, I'm a sculptor. So this little technique allows me to break free, get back to my roots, so to speak, and just really enjoy the process. But for me personally, anytime I'm working on a project, and it's just not working. Something's not clicking. It's not coming easily. I will do this. This sculpt took me 30, 40 minutes maybe. I was just having a good time. So for you, maybe it's, I'm gonna take 15 minutes and just stop what I'm doing, do some sculpting. I'm just gonna have some fun with this, see what happens. I hope you like this tip. I know it works for me. Hopefully it works for you. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe. I will see you next time.